Welcome back, everyone. You know, in the world of medicine today, there are a lot of pressures on the providers. Uh, generally, it comes down to two main areas, regulations, insurance, and all of the kinds of pressures that come on them to make certain that they can make ends meet to provide the care. And then, of course, the other side is technology, which changes rapidly and is very expensive. Well, we're very fortunate in our area that Glens Falls Hospital is our community hospital. And as such, their job, and they do quite, quite a nice job at this, is to provide the kind of services that really reach out and help our community. Joining me today are two people from Glens Falls Hospital Foundation, the Vice President, Director of Development, Cindy Sherwood, and the Chairman of the Hospital mm -hmm. Foundation, John Schutz. So first, welcome, both of you. Thank you very much. Very nice Thanks to have you here. Uh, they're here because the annual campaign is kicking <laughs> in. And uh, it really caught my attention. It's called the Art of Healing. And before we get into some of the things that you would like to, our viewers to know about where their contributions would go and where their gifts would go, mm -hmm. I'm very taken with that, Art of Healing. Mm -hmm. What's behind that? Well, we really wanted to um, honor the people who provide care in Glens Falls Hospital, day in, day out, 24-7, mm -hmm. um, you know, every, you, you never know when you might need the services sure. of the hospital, and you never know when you might end up there. And um, these are the people who are there for you when That's you right. need them. Um, and um, so we really wanted to honor that and, um, and, and have some kind of visual depiction of that as mm -hmm. well, and reminder for the community about the wonderful resource that we have available. Now, you've got an art exhibit that's hanging in the lobby that's very unusual. Yeah. Who are the artists? Yes. Well, we, there are a couple different parts to it. There's right. one part um, where we have photographs, some of which depict some history mm -hmm. of Glens Falls Hospital. So, um, a, one of um, Dr. Hogan's um, medical bag. Mm -hmm. um, there are some other interesting picture photographs there. There's some photographs of actual current day care providers in the hospital providing mm -hmm. that care to patients. And then there's also um, a part of the exhibit which is um, the artwork of some local children um, uh, from the Hyde Collection. So the children who go mm -hmm. into the Hyde Collection um, through their, their classwork. Um, and they were asked to do um, artwork about um, about um, health care right. and what it meant to them. And they um, were so that's very another revealing. Very yes, revealing. they were very you know? creative. Very creative. You really get you know the feel. You know, very, all of them very very different from one another, mm -hmm. um, but really give you some insight into the importance of health care in our communities. And also the connection between the hospital and the community, yeah. which is what uh, was what yeah. I took away from it. Yeah. Hey, uh, John, uh, we're want the annual campaign to focus on a couple of specific areas. Uh, I think before we went on air, where it's cardio, cardiovascular, sure. correct? Mm -hmm. um, the cancer center, mm -hmm. the, the C.R. Wood Cancer, cent the cancer mm -hmm. Center, which a lot yes. of us, of course, know about. Uh, the snuggery, mm -hmm. I and mean, we've got to spend a few minutes talking about that. That's one of my favorites. And uh, I'm, I'm missing one, John. What's the one I'm missing? I uh, did cardiovascular. Minium, minimally invasive. Oh, minimally, minimally invasive. And, yeah, that's mm -hmm. because I can't say it. Minimally <laughs> invasive surgery. Uh, let's start with that. Minimally invasive surgery, a lot of breakthroughs in recent years. There sure have been a lot of breakthroughs in the sense that they're designed to be minimally invasive in the sense that people don't have to have as big a wide an opening to have an operation done. Right. Uh, the operation can be done with a robotic to actually go through a very small incision, mm -hmm. take care of whatever has to be done in gynecology or in urology or in other areas of general surgery, and then close without much interference of the rest of the body and then let the person go home that same day. Mm -hmm. So it's not always the same day, but in many cases the same day and the after effects of pain and suffering and healing are minimized in that regard. We also have things like an abdominal aneurysm, which used to be a yes. major operation. Right. And now through a port through the leg can go up, close, and actually complete the surgery or actually the treatment of a surgery minimally and let that person go out the same day. So mm -hmm. all of this has leaned towards reducing the pain, suffering, and after effects of surgery by doing the minimal that has to be done in order to treat the person. Wow. Um, heart disease, number one killer. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of work in cardiovascular area, right? Yes, uh, indeed. Tell me a bit about that. Well, you know, in our area, we have now got the cardiology interventional radiology where a person can have 
their uh, arteries of their heart evaluated. If they need to have a stent, it could be placed in Glens Falls Hospital. They could be monitored 24-7. A person can go in like my wife and she can have a machine put onto her. She can actually walk around day after day and have continuous evaluation of her heart. And then if there's a need, can go back and have treatment. So we are so very much poised and advanced in the cardiology area with a great group of cardiologists who take care of patients out of the hospital and take care of patients within the hospital mm -hmm. and have 24-7 what's called telemetry. Yes, so right, you're actually right. hooked up That's to right. a machine that keeps track of you. It's read 24-7. If there's an alarm, you get a phone call. Are you having a problem? And then if you are, you have the treatment that's necessary to take care of you. Well, you know what, it, it points back to what I think I was saying at the beginning, which is that technology is one aspect of it, but the whole idea of having that involvement with the community, that one-on-one -on -one with the patient. Uh, before we went on air, I told, uh, I told them that, you know, I've had this experience personally with Glens Falls Hospital, so I can attest to this. Uh, just the care and the follow-through. You know, mm -hmm. there's so many aspects to this. Uh, the C.R. Wood Cancer Center, mm -hmm. obviously a centerpiece of the hospital and the services that the hospital provides, uh, but also an incredibly technologically driven uh, part of the of, of what you do, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, indeed. Tell me a bit about that. Sin, you want to grab that? Sure. Um, you know, I really think um, it's important for our community to know that this cancer center um, that we have as a resource, you know, we're very fortunate because we have, you know, the most cutting edge technology available to us, um, you know, particularly with um, the new linear accelerators wow. that have mm -hmm. come online at the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that really is the latest and the greatest um, um, that is available to us. And um, not only that, you know, not, not only do we have the greatest technology, we have, um, you know, some of the greatest um, people. People, sure. There as well, who, who not only, you know, meet what's needed for various accreditations and so forth, but they exceed it. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're fortunate to have that combination. And then, of course, also all of the additional support programs that mm -hmm. our cancer center offers to our community, not just to the patient, but to the patient's families, mm -hmm. um, that is really very unique. Well, yeah. you know what? When cancer strikes, it does involve the whole family, yes. you know. Yeah. Uh, again, the art of healing. Well, there you, you go. Know, sure. it's, mm -hmm. it, uh, it's not only the patient itself, mm -hmm. but it's the family and the surrounding it. And, uh, I was just thinking about all of the technological advances and things like radiation therapy, right. you know, uh, to be able to pinpoint mm -hmm the mm -hmm. source of the cancer yep. without destroying a lot of tissue around mm -hmm. okay. around it area and stuff like that again all of the uh, has to do with the art of healing mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. we can't end this interview without a little bit of the snuggery yeah. Yeah. that you know that was really cutting edge back then yes, wasn't it, it was. mid 80s john it was 1985 yeah okay. i came in 1974 to glens falls and we had our children before we arrived here and we were at least aware of what was available but in 1985, it really changed. It became a family-centered place to have your mm -hmm. children. And when a child is born, a mom can come in instead mm -hmm. of being stuck in some kind of a waiting room or, right. you know, kind of pining away by herself. There's actually a, a chance to be in your own private room, have your family around you, and have a chance to really have a family mm -hmm. gathering to have your child. Mm -hmm. And so the snuggery, uh, from the moment you walk in and you're received as far as the reception area, to where you go into your room and can stay and have your child mm -hmm. is really it was a breakthrough in 1985 and still to this day is a leading uh, change. Well, in you know what, what I be. noticed because we we talk to other uh, providers in the area and whatever. It's a model. Mm -hmm. It's a model for everyone. Mm -hmm. Anyone talks about it, they talk mm -hmm. about the snuggery. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking of some of the uh, photographs that are on the walls. They yeah. just mm -hmm. really, it's a it, it, you do. They create that environment where the whole family, a little brother or sister, can come in, mm -hmm. and you know, a grandparent mm -hmm. can come in, whatever, yeah. and they're all welcome. Yeah, exactly. And well, that's where that. we got to do it was with our grandchildren. We were able yes. to be in the hospital with our grandchildren. And it's also support provided before the actual birth of the child, mm -hmm. all the way up until after the birth of the child, too. Yes, sure. So, it, you know, it, it's, it's not just that one event. event yes, you know, right, uh, sure. Yeah. So it's services that, you know, wrap around the, mm -hmm. the event as well. Um, that, that provide the right kind of support and give families the right kind of start when they go home. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. so your mission, should you choose to accept it, <laughs> is to make certain that you give a gift. Uh, it's an annual campaign. It runs now through the end of the yes. year. Mm -hmm. uh, the needs are ongoing. They're daily. And uh, the annual fund is a big part of what makes the hospital able 
to provide the services that, that exactly. we've been discussing today. I know we've run a long time, but I just wanted to end something and something I had gotten from them. A mother of three learns the cancer is gone and clutches her doctor's hand. A cardiologist skilled and steady hands opens a clogged artery and calms the hearts of a waiting family. And a newborn's healthy cry brings tears of joy to her parents' eyes. Well, if that's the philosophy behind the hospital, mm -hmm. that's very good. <laughs> Thank you both very much for coming in. Thank you, in. Jesse. Thank and, you, Jeff. Uh, Appreciate best the of luck with the Art of Healing Thank annual you. campaign. Thanks. Thank you very much. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.